Hey, what up, y'all? Mr. Cruz here, the hardest worker in the room. Um, if you saw my band lab video, the video I posted before this, I'm super sick. I just got my COVID vaccine yesterday, and I'm it's like it's hurting, it's hitting me hard. Um, but I wanted to get this video out, and this video is a little bit different. It's not really a tutorial, but I wanted to tell you guys um, that I'm f officially switching. I'm switching from Reason, right? I'm a Reason 11 user. Um, I'm switching over to FL Studio, and I wanted to talk to you guys about why I'm making that switch. So I've been a Reason user for ever since Reason 4, so it's been several, several years, um, probably almost a decade, if not more, that I've been using Reason. And... At the core, I love Reason because Reason is very simple and it was easy for me to dive into it um, and be able to create. And then as time went on, um, I was able to, it, it allowed me to create a workflow for myself that allowed me to create quick um, without having to waste a whole lot of time, you know, editing and mixing and all that stuff. However, the Reason Studios in and of itself um, I'm just not really happy with like the direction that they're going with the company, um, and kind of how the core user base, us, like us core users have been treated. Not to mention that reason is really geared towards like EDM techno house, like producers. It's not really, um, it, it doesn't really include a lot of features that hip hop producers would find extremely useful. It does have some stuff, but like overall it's really geared towards, especially like the sounds and the presets and a lot of the instruments that they've added over the years, they're really geared towards um, like EDM dubstep, you know, those kind of producers. Um, the other thing is I, this is kind of like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be salty and I'm an event here. Um, I am really tired of giving you know, hundreds of dollars over to Reason Studios in order to upgrade every, you know, what, every couple years um, to upgrade only to be left lacking very, uh, very common features that are available in other DAWs. For example, um, for years, uh, I mean, ever since I was a Reason 4 user, I have um really, really wanted to be able to export an MP3, right? I know a lot of people are like, nah, it's stupid. Like, why would you want to export at a lower quality audio file? Like, well, for me, I was sending a lot of music back and forth to people. And sometimes when you want to send something in a simple email, like MP3 is best. And I hated having to like upload it to a website so that I can download an MP3 or like converting it in iTunes and all this other stuff. So I've, for years, I've wanted, or we have wanted that, like core reason users. Um, we got it, what, like three years ago, maybe? So three years ago is when we finally got MP3. And of course, at that time, or by that time, um, we didn't really need it. And so it was kind of like, well, you, it's great that you gave what us, it's great that you gave us what we wanted, but you're way too late on that. Um, so there are features like that, that we have been asking for for years, that, you know, things that, Logic, FL, Pro Tools, Studio One, all these other Ableton, all these other dolls have had for years that Reason still doesn't have. Um, and it just seems that like our requests continue to fall on deaf ears with Reason Studios. I hate paying money, not only not knowing what new upgrades, upgrades we're going to get and what new features we're going to get, but then to have those features not really push the Reason doll forward. Um, now, FL, free updates for life. That's, I can't explain how appealing that is um, for a music producer to know that like I invest in this one time and then I get every new feature that comes out with it for the, for the rest of my life, like for the lifetime that I'm using it. Like that's, you just can't beat that. Also, um, as I'm getting more into collaborating with other people, I'm really just finding that um, I want to be able to use a DAW um, that I could easily find a lot of like really good tutorials on now reason has some good stuff, but again, it's geared more towards EDM stuff and not towards hip hop stuff. So I do feel like a lot of core, um, a lot of the core fan base or the core user base of FL tends to be hip hop producers. And I think the appeal of that is because FL is so cheap. It's much cheaper than other DAWs where it allow you to get in, get started, um, and have access to pretty much everything that you're going to need in order to make dope tracks. So I did, uh, I'm, I've been using FL now for 
I'm going to say like almost a month, um, been able to crank out some beats and now I've got like a little workflow and I've got my template set up, um, and reading through the manual little by little to learn some, some other things. I've even learned some stuff that like people that I know have used FL for years. Like they didn't know that, you know, you could do stuff. I'm sitting there asking them like, Hey man, how do I open more than one plugin at a time? I was like, I don't think you can do that. And I was like, Oh, Hey, I found it. Here's how you do it. Um, but I'm really, en really enjoying it. Um, it sucks. It breaks my heart that I'm leaving reason to go to FL. Um, but I just, the pool is too strong. Um, and with reason kind of continually disappointing me with updates and whatnot. Um, I just, I, I got, I gotta do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? It's, um, music is very much a business. I love doing it, but it is a business that brings money in. Um, and I got to have a DAW that is up to date that gives me the features that I need and that I want, um, versus something that is light years behind, not to mention the Z game editor in FL that allows you to make beat videos like beat visualizers. That is, that's a, that's a huge game changer. Like I would pay for a, um, a software just for that. I would pay what I paid for FL for software that just does that just for the Z game editor. But that's another thing that really shows me that image line is really looking out for, um, the content creators that are using, you know, their program and their software. Well, that's what I got. Um, that's my story on why I'm switching over to FL studio and leaving reason behind. I'm probably still going to use reason just because the way FL works with, um, audio files is not as streamlined and it's not, um, as user friendly as the way reason is. So I'm still probably going to use reason to record and, um, to maybe like chop up samples and whatnot, but overall, like FL is going to be my main doll from here on out. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and what doll you are currently using. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Cruz out.